Why is it that nuclear missiles can't be intercepted after they've been launched? Is it because you can't or you don't dare? The answer is that you can't and you won't dare. Because nuclear missiles, also known as intercontinental missiles, after launch, it will attack the target in three stages. The first stage is a takeoff stage. This stage is in the atmosphere within the territory and airspace of the launching party. It's hard to detect, and even if it is, if the launching party has a capability to launch a nuclear missile, it must have a defense system. Interception on enemy soil is almost impossible. The second stage involves the missile flying 1,000 kilometers or more outside the atmosphere. It accelerates and then uses inertia to fly in a parabolic pattern to its destination. This stage not only has a stable flight speed, the flight time is longer, and even the flight path can be calculated. Theoretically, this is the best time to intercept. But in reality, interceptor missiles can't reach beyond the atmosphere. Generally, it can only reach an altitude of about 100 kilometers. Moreover, at this stage, the missile will split into multiple warheads to confuse the enemy, so you can't defend yourself. The third stage is re-entering the atmosphere and attacking the destination. In this stage, due to the acceleration of gravity, it can reach speeds of tens of Mach or more. While the interceptor missiles fly at a pathetic Mach 3 or so, how can the tortoise catch up with the hare? The worst part is that even if they could catch up, the target country wouldn't dare intercept it, because by that time the missile is already within its own territory or nearby and then use an interceptor missile to attack a nuclear bomb. It's like adding fuel to fire. In addition, the air explosion of nuclear bombs is more destructive than ground explosion, the optical radiation, radioactive dust, and shock waves generated. The damage would be incalculable. 